Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. Oh, and the kittens run off. Oh, Tanya's almost here, and she's here. Hey. Yay. <laughs> Today we're going to be playing some 2600 games. Yay. Two of them, in fact. Yay, 2600. I feel like it's been a while. Uh, it has been. Yes. Nasty buzz in the audio. What? I blame the cats. Audio issues. Oh, it is the cats. Yes. Nope. 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 Worse. But it's not a cat hiss, is it? Uh, usually it, it's at the microphone end here mm. for some reason. It only happens like once every. F I solidly blame cats. It's still going. Oh. There's one more connection to check. It looks like it was still there when you unplugged it. It was still there when you unplugged it. Oh. Still his thing? Buzz is still there. Buzz is still there. Mm. Still more connections. Oh, it's there when I unplug it. Uh, one second. No, that should be right. Let me do this again. Oh, you know what it is? Goodbye. Silly. What? Flies. Flies. Try unplugging the buzz generator. Oh, there we go. I unplugged the buzz generator. That's much better. What was it? Uh, it's something too complicated. There. Okay. <laughs> it's something over there. Yeah, I'm a buzzkill. Yeah. Okay, today we're going to be playing <laughs> the exclusive final version of Jutland Skies. Yay. Good luck to us. Um, <laughs> and also Minotaur. One is a plane game, one is a tank game. Nice. In the air, on the ground. Gotcha. Uh, but first, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers. Thank you so much for supporting the show. It means a lot. Uh, they are Alnafer, Andrea Atari, Armscar, Coder, Atari, Dunder Dicks, All Rules, Atari, Nude 74, Atari, Jeep, Beef, Supreme, Beer, Polka, Buffalo, Pinball, Chelston, Mal, Charles Whelan, Chitlala, Cuba, Dismo, Cyrano, Reboot, Dan, if you see Drexel, Dar Drifting, Snow, Dr. Moo, Dr. Moo Cows. Gamma Dev, Glenn Main, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, George, Drew Rapper, Johnny W.C. Cabello, Kenzo, Carl G. Croc 2600, Gavaltiver, Lambda Express, Mark Andes, Mark Spacing, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike the Town, Mr. Zarnawood, Mr. Fix, Nathan Strum, Neo Media, Nostalgic, Pack Rock, Cohog, RC70, Rendered Ghost, Repentless, VG, Revan Tooley, Rodcaster, Smitty B, Spicewear, Spin Louis, Esther Bears, D Train, Tika Down, K Trek MD, Vexor X, Vic Toko, VVG Double Down, and X Ken X. And if you would like to support the show, mm -hmm. get your name on there. Mm -hmm. You can just hit subscribe. Um, and you get endless thanks. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> uh, we have a poll tonight. We do, we do, and here it is. Do you wish homebrew games were more popular? Interesting. And I would say that in comparison, especially for the games that we play, to classic games. You know what? Because people get really hyped up about a classic game. It's like, oh, this old classic game from 1980, 1979. Who's going to say they wish it was smaller? Like, come on. Everyone <laughs> wants it to be bigger. Also, a lot of devs in, in, the, in the audience yes. who are going to be like, buy our games. <laughs> Play our That's games. True. Yeah. 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 Three. Um, three. Three. Three for me. Three. Definitely. Yeah. I would like to be a little bit bigger. Yeah. So there is more. There is um a ceiling. A, a ceiling. I think that's true, but because when who wants it to be smaller? <laughs> when you get too big and you get like the general population coming in, say I did this stream and there was the general population. Yeah. Um you wouldn't really even know the community you wouldn't know the people in the community it wouldn't even be a community it would be so big and over Not and, it, and, it, and it would be, get very very corporate well that's that, the that money does would happen. come with it that's true so there are some benefits to being small yeah 
but I agree. No, no one wants. See, when things get too big, it's because it hit a tipping point. But yeah. no one knows where that tipping point is, right? No, that's hard to know. And and so you just want it to get bigger. Homebrew yeah. for life, <laughs> Cuban Nismo, Yes, more mm-hmm. players is nice, but the community itself feels good sized. Yes, that's, it does that's feel good sized. What I feel as well, I wouldn't want the yeah. community to change. Yeah. Um, because um, people can have a connection with the developers. Yeah, yeah. they can actually talk to them yeah and you think about something that's bigger say music or something and there's big stars that fill arenas and and movie stars and tv stars and <laughs> you can't i mean it's gotten better because of twitter and, and oh yeah and, and um, social media but in general you can't talk to them like there's just oh, too no. many yeah there's too many people on one side wa- wanting yeah. to talk to too few people yeah, that's true that's true yeah that tipping point Funko Pops. Pops. Yeah, those became a it's little too... out of control. Out of control. Yeah. Um, um, so I, I I, wouldn't mind getting, you know, a little bit bigger, yeah. but not too big that it's, you know, at arm's length yeah. for people. Yeah. Um, it's not approachable. This is why ZPH works well. You can play the games and the community can talk to developers and each other. That's, that's exactly right. That's kind James of why is... I like yeah. the size of it. Yeah. Like I can... We can... Like anybody here that's watching can go to like a convention like PRG, walk up to a dev, yeah, and and and, and have talk a to them for like 10, yeah. 15 minutes, and they're yeah. happy to talk to them. Yeah. Wouldn't you love to have a Funko Pop? Over? <laughs> yes, <laughs> that would be kind of. How fun. about a how about how about a James bobblehead? That would be fun. Yeah, yeah, it has to have wavy hair. That kind of, yeah. There you go. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> um, so. Uh, in mail and news, we got the new trophy. Well, it, no. it's it's not done. No, it's no, no. sort of the blank ah. for the trophy. It's the blank for the Atari. But I'm excited because now now I have a really good blank to use for I, the I awards. Don't know where the there? 3D printed one is. I guess oh, it's upstairs. They all got. Oh, I have them like. Yeah, they're all. Upstairs. No, the original 3D printed. Yeah. So this is the new shape new sh- well it's not the new shape but it's the new blank well we, we had this shape yeah. last year um but i got it 3d printed <laughs> last year yeah um let me just and show the you 3d printing up. was not nice and smooth they're shiny and so it, i ended up with so many problems trying to turn it yeah. into a resin um form because I had to try and shine it up, and oh, it was driving yeah, me crazy. It was challenging. So now we have one, one that is sharp, actually sharp edges, nice and sharp and shiny. So and very flat. I should be able to mold it now. So very yes. good. So very the good. awards this year look even better, yeah. which is great. Yeah. Um, yeah. I have ideas. I'm very I happy ideas. about that. Yeah. yeah. I have ideas. Tenya's ideas. I have, I have She's ideas. the one who does the awards. Yes. Yep. Yep. Good um, time. Good time. So, uh, news, uh, Silly Venture is uh, going to be this weekend, starting Thursday. This is a place where uh, demos are shown, games are shown, people get together. It's in Poland, Mm -hmm. so it starts uh, this Thursday, goes Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's a a big, big event. Um, So, you see a lot of great demos come out of that. Um, You can see there's... Presentation of demo scene productions from VCS, Atari XEXL, 7800, ST, POFO. <laughs> Don't know what a POFO is. Uh, I think that's probably some translation ish- issue. <laughs> Linksa, uh, Falcon Linksa. and Jaguar. Nice. And, and even more the next day, so you can see how many there are. Yeah. Portfolio. portfolio. Oh, Atari Portfolio. POFO. POFO. Ah, POFO. Nice. POFO. Um, and they have tournaments and stuff. Nice. Uh, we're pretty far from Poland, so we unfortunately won't be able to make it to there. <laughs> won't be able to attend. Yeah, yeah. But maybe one year. That'd be nice. Yeah. Uh, uh, it might be a bit cold. I don't think I'd rather I'd do much traveling to uh, Europe in December. I don't Wouldn't know. Wouldn't be my choice of time I of mean, year. maybe there's sort of, you know, some Northern European countries with Christmas-related, Ooh, you know, markets and stuff. True. I don't think it'd be yeah. so bad. That wouldn't be too it bad. It looks really fun. Yeah, but it's always a good time uh, watching the videos afterwards. I yeah. can't remember if they're shown live or not. Mm. I think they are, and you can follow along and watch them. So if that's something to do this weekend, you can just put it on in the background. Yes, meow, meow, meow. And uh, for those people who weren't here last episode, including Tanya, we have redone 
I the heard. treats. I heard. The treat time. The bell competition. Yes, we are apparently... To make it a bit more interesting. And we, we are apparently moving up the level of the gambling. Is that what's going yes, on? Yes, we've yeah. intensified <laughs> the gambling now. Yeah. Because it used oh, to be a geez. binary of one or the other cats yeah. wins. Yeah. And I was, and we were thinking last episode, Yeah. it was like, well, Sprite always wins almost all the time. Atari had two in a row. Uh, recently, but it's mm -hmm. almost always Sprite winning. Mm -hmm. So we thought, well, let's make it a little bit more interesting and make it how much Sprite will win or how, if, much, how Atari. much Atari will yeah. win. Yeah. So that people can bet on Sprite and not just go, well, Sprite's going to win, but by how much? By how so much? if nice. anybody wants to trigger that right now, we can, uh, <laughs> more ways to bet on cat yeah, racing. There yeah. you go. Yeah. We can uh, try that out again. Yeah. And I did Any have time. a tie. Uh, that I put in last time, but oh, that really? didn't make any sense. No, that's a pretty a narrow. I mean, does no one win if someone ties? I, well, do... if nobody bets on ties and somebody ties. No, but tie. if they tie and you don't have that as an option, there's always one more to bring. Hey, it's True. treat time. True. Yeah, it it is never. It's, the point spread, exactly. It's the point spread, yeah. Yay, thank you, Drifting Snow! Yes, thank you so Hi, much for triggering meowie, that. meowy, meowy cats. So, Hi, if these. you've never done this before... Yeah, sudden death, 11th point, exactly. There you go. If people haven't done that bef this before, there's a predict... There's a predict button at the top of your screen. Yes. You click predict, pick which cat... Oh my God, they're crazy. <laughs> and, and, and bet how much you want to bet. And uh, Sprite is usually the winner. Sp Sprite is a slight edge over Atari. Yeah. Atari does sometimes win. Often it's quite close. Yes. Oh, I still need to redo the um, Oh, to see it? Graphics. Oh. So I'm just going to do that right now while it's up on the screen. Ah. Can I drop one? No. Okay, good. Uh, it would have okay. been eaten. What is it? Oh, oh, kittens. kittens. All right, so get get your uh, predictions on. Telescore predictions. There it is. Okay, let's Hi. alter that. No, you can't have any. No, you get on the floor. It's not time yet. You oh. bad kitty. <laughs> bad kitty. They're so silly. Uh, I think it's filters. And then bottom needs to be quite a bit larger. Quite a bit larger. Oh, it's oh, it's increasing in real time. That's well, not to them yet. No, I'm seeing it. That's them. Yeah. They can't see. Oh, no, it's gotten bigger. It's now on top of the Sprite and Atari. Yeah, okay. I'm already regretting on not betting on Atari. Oh no, Carl oh, G. Oh, so sad. Oh. It doesn't show all the options. It doesn't all fit. No, it's pretty I'll, big. Well, I've I've made it bigger, so that helps. Yeah. So you're missing just the last option there. Yeah. So I have to make it smaller so we can actually see the other thing. What are you doing? I might put no. it in the corner. Psst, psst. Up there or something. Maybe. Or maybe I'll put it no, no. over here and move the other thing. Maybe. But we're going to leave it here for now. So I don't have much time left to do that. Oh, and the betting is over. Oh. Okay. So let's lock that down. Okay, kitties, are you ready? Two, two, three, two, two, two. All right, all yeah, right. Some twos and threes. Nobody going for the big, <laughs> the, the big win for Sprite. Yeah. But some people going for the uh, win on Atari. All right. Hey, cats, you Drifting get snow. Never thought I'd scratch a gambling itch on cats. Yep. Yeah, ready? Go. And oh, Atari's Atari. off to the races. Wow, that's a great first lead. And Sprite has joined the race yeah. as well. It is 1-1. One, one. Oh, Atari keeps his lead, not by much. Sprite's just behind. Yeah, and they are off. And they're off. Oh, oh double ring. Double oh, ring. Oh, no. Sprite's catching up. Yeah. Can you aggregate counts betting over time? Be interested to see if three months later it was tried Atari by three or more. Oh, they're Closer. both missing. Oh, that's Sprite. He's now pulled in. Ring the oh, bell. No. Ring the bell. Ring it. Ring the bell. Good oh, kitty. a strong ring by Atari, but he is lagging, as shown by Sprite getting five points, five four. <gasps> I put ten on Atari, but I'll probably lose. But I'll get thousands back if I win. That's true. 
Oh, and now Sprite is two ahead. Oh, Charlie, no. hit your bell. There you go. Oops. Uh, six five for Sprite, and Sprite's back to his bell. And he's a nice soft touch. Oh, he almost caught it in midair. Harder. Again? Harder. 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 No. Harder. 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 Oh. oh. Eight to five Harder. for Sprite. Harder. Good there kitty. We go. It's now eight six. Oh, my We're goodness. We're approaching to the oh, end no. of the round. Oh, oh no. Oh, it is now game point. Atari. Hit get the bell. Last, get your last ring in. Oh, my goodness. Nine seven. Oh, it's going to be the two plus or three plus. Oh, oh it is. It is 10-7. And some chicken feed for you guys. That's right, chickens. Oh, my goodness. Get your feed. Just Greasy. smell like... Disgusting. Smell like... Transfer to the joysticks. Ugh. Cat treats all day long. Uh, so it was... Uh, the dopamine Mean is flowing. Oh, yes. <laughs> the betting. The betting. Uh... So let's, All right, let's see how. Prediction. Where did it go? And it was Sprite by three plus. Three. Yeah. yeah. Ten seven. Yeah. Wow. Ten seven. Scratch wow. and sniff joysticks. Cat treat flavor. Um, oh, so. Wow. So what have we got? Uh, four people bet on Sprite oh, three plus. Oh, three plus. Okay. Okay. Uh, Atari Atari eight hundred XL rules is the big winner. Nice. Um, so a total bets were eleven thousand eight hundred. Mm. Um, does it say how many people? Highest was Sprite three plus. Yeah. Oh, I think I you have to click on it. That. Six. 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 Wow. Uh, Atari and three. Three people for by on one to two, and three plus was a big. Oh, one. What? No. What? No, no, no. Oh, total yeah, voters. One. One for ten. Okay. Oh, it's so small. It was a small amount. They're just like, I'm just zero. gonna run a little amount on Atari Three Plus. Yeah, you can't see it from here. How many people bet on each one? Yeah. Anyway, we're looking at something else on the yeah. screen. Lost eight hundred. Uh, you can make that back. Lost Kitty Chaos. <laughs> it is Kitty Chaos. Okay. Let's get to the games. Time to play some games. <laughs> Let's open the door. Getting toasty in here, even though it's nice. cold outside. Oh, yeah, you smack them. Yeah. <laughs> smack them on the way out. They're fun kitties. All right. There we go. Excellent. Let's switch over to the Atari input. So we'll go to today's date. And we are going to be playing Jutland Skies first. Uh, Next one. Yes. Oh, sorry. I clicked on the wrong one. Yeah. Say next one. Do, do, do. I heard that, but too late. <laughs> too uh, late. So this, so this build is from November thirtieth, twenty twenty-three. Uh, thirty-two K nice. game. So pretty. Yes, very so nice pretty. screen. Um, and we have some instructions. Did I print them out? No, I did not. Of course. <laughs> oh my goodness. Are you going to print but them out? I uh, no. I'll put them on the screen. Okay. Printing them out is not a good thing to do right now because mm. it's noisy. But I'll put them on the screen for me. Um, so. <laughs> How are they not fifty-pound cats, lol? <laughs> uh, well, the well, only time they get treats is during the show. Yeah. That's why they're not. That's why they're cats. here when the show starts. They know what's coming. Uh, they are very mally. Yeah, they're very on top of things. To the point where when the dun 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 comes in, sometimes Sprite is already crying for food. Man, <laughs> man, he knows. Okay, so the last time we played this was November fourteenth, uh, twenty twenty three. But now it is done. This is the exclusive final version. Okay. Of the game, so you'll see it here first. What printer printers do we have? We have a laser brother. It's a brother. Nine All three, in one or something. Nine three four zero CDW. Um, <laughs> it's fairly old. It's it's it's, it's been around for a while. For a, little, for a little while. Yeah. But it's awesome. Oh my god. Laser color printer. You can't beat that. Um, okay. Yeah, the toner's not great on it though. I fixed it. Did you? Yeah. Okay. Put a new toner. <laughs> oh, new did black you? Toner. Oh, okay, good. Even though it was, it was good. like still twenty percent. Yeah, but it was having problems when I was printing for some of yeah. my crafts. So yeah. okay, good. So the, if it's fixed. So excellent. the toner was. I meant 3D. Yeah. We have no 3D printers. Oh no, we don't have 3D printers. We printer. have none. We don't... Darcy does though. Darcy does. So if we need yeah. something done, we can ask yeah. Darcy no nicely. No 3D printers. Okay. Sadness. 
So, uh, it's... You've played this. You shoot things in the sky, and then pull down to shoot things on the ground. Mm. So, you can go for it. I'll adjust the volume. It's not getting blasted. There we go. Oh, missed it. Okay, so, update since we last played it. Uh, November 24th, 2023, I still need to create the final boss, and after that, I'll fix bugs. Uh, when the plane lands, I need to make uh, that a bonus life is gained, and energy is replenished. November 27th, the game is now done, and we need to add sound for gaining life, building up energy, uh, fix bugs. Um, for the final boss, you need to hit him when he's coming towards you in the hatch dome, not sure uh, what it would be. Uh, the ending and the final boss are a bit challenging to play, but the game isn't very long, so the ending should be difficult. And uh, then November 29th, fix the bottom part to make it look synchronized when the enemies go out. Also, ish fixed issues mm. when they appear on the screen. Oh. Uh, I, I've been just trying to practice the shooting down, so yes. it's it's not not doing so hot. But um, Laser is the way to go, Inkjet's a scam. Yes, exactly. Agreed. And also, whenever I had an inkjet, it would always dry out. Constantly, because I didn't print enough. Oh, yeah. Because you have to constantly keep printing all the colors. Toner doesn't dry out. It just sits there. It is dry. There's no need to... Uh, no need to keep doing it. So, people are going to ask, yeah. and people have asked, um, about a cartridge release for this game. Because his last game, uh, Karim Yuho, was on cartridge. Um... And uh, so I asked him, are you planning a cartridge release of the game? Uh, he says, I'm, I'm not able to release a game in cartridge format. However, anyone can, can create a custom cartridge through Atari Age. If Atari Age expresses a desire to release it in their store and we reach an agreement, then it might become officially published. I initially provided Karim Yuho for free for them to release on uh, Atari Age. But now that Atari is a company, they're changing my rules. Um, cute question too. Will there be a newer demo release of the game other than the November 5th version? Because that's the last, the last one uh, that was released um, in the forums. And the, second ans and the answer to that is there won't be a new demo version. Instead, the complete game will be released for free after the ZPH premiere, just like my previous games. Ooh, that was close. Oh, I had uh, to get out of that corner. So after we play this game at some point, it will be posted in the Atari Age forums for everybody to enjoy. And you will be able to make your own cartridge through Atari Age. He has made a label for it. Uh, and also posted the manual in the forums as well. So you're getting closer to the land now. That's, I love that. I love that kind of perspective. Oh, it's great. Yeah, it's a, I, I describe this as a, a third-person perspective. You're behind the plane. And it's pseudo 3D. As things get, get closer to you, they get bigger. Yeah. One more. <laughs> 325. Just getting used to it here. I need to watch the action rather than the birds. Yeah, yeah the birds are the a nice The birds are addition. very pretty. I, I agree. I agree. Fly the birds by. look really... So I... now I will read the instructions. The Battle of Jutland occurred during World War I from May 31st to June 1st, 1916 between the British right Royal in. Navy and the German Hochseeflot. Uh, located in the North Sea, west of the Danish coast, it became the largest naval confrontation of the war involving battle cruisers, battleships, and destroyers. Led by Admiral John Jellicoe, the British forces faced German forces commanded by Admiral Reinhard Scheer. The battle continued, concluded without a clear victor, but the British fleet suffered greater losses in ship numbers, while the German fleet sustained significant damage. Post-battle, the German fleet largely stayed in port, marking a shift towards unrestricted submarine warfare. The Battle of Jutland left an indelible mark on naval history, influencing subsequent strategies during World War I. Additionally, it marked one of the first instances of naval aviation playing a role. The British Grand Fleet used seaplane carriers such as HMS Campan Campania and HMS Engadine for reconnaissance and air power projection. 
Despite challenges like communication issues, this pioneering use of aviation foreshadowed the future impact of air power on maritime conflicts. Do it again. Keep going. Keep, yeah. Yep. Yeah. The battle began with a dynamic clash between reconnaissance forces involving uh, scout planes and vessels that played a pivotal role in shaping the tactical landscape. These scouts, with their aircraft and ship, provided crucial data on enemy movements, laying the groundwork for thrilling aerial engagements in the skies above the Battle of Jutland. The game's story. After the reconnaissance clash, before the Battle of Jutland, one aircraft suffered serious damage. Preventing its return, in desperation, the pilot makes a courageous decision to head towards the island of Silt, then under German control. On this island, the pilot plans to undertake a daring endeavor to command, commandeer a German aircraft to continue the rescue mission. The island of Silt becomes the setting for this brave adventure, where each moment brings challenges and uncertainty. With this new aircraft, the pilot heads towards the open skies above Jutland, where Denmark remains neutral during the war. In this game, you are the pilot of that aircraft. Oh. Originally thought that was the enemy backup planes. Oh, in the sky. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh my god, I got him and then he shot me. Carl G says it's looking really good. Oh, it looks fantastic. Oh, it looks beautiful. Great colors. Everything stands out. Nothing's muddy. Right? The, um, the colors of the sky and the uh, and uh, the island oh. and the water and the clouds. It's gorgeous. Oh. I would advise not going for the ships after a certain point. Well, sometimes you... Yeah, the ships are horrible. Yeah, I, w I wouldn't do it at this point. Because they get to shoot twice. I know, they're terrible. They are they can do angles that get you almost immediately. Uh, joystick, move it left and right to navigate the biplane in the corresponding direction. Be cautious as collisions are only possible with airport uh, airborne targets. Uh, fire button, press it to shoot at airborne targets. <sighs> Bombing, pull the joystick towards yourself and press the fire button to target and better. bomb ground and water-based enemies. The diagonal shots are really fast. They, like, cut They're right fast. across. You want to uh, keep reading? Uh, where are you up to? Uh, enemies and bosses. Enemies and bosses. Airborne enemies, planes, zeppelins, ground and water enemies, ships, submarines, tanks. Boss enemies. Red Baron's tri-wing plane, armored vehicle. Boss tactics. Red Baron plane. Aim for the body, not the wings. Destroy it after 10 hits. Armored vehicle. Bomb the hatch when it's open. Destroy it after 10 hits. Energy bar appears on the right side of the score at the bottom of the screen. And I notice when you hit something, it builds up your energy bar. So you have to keep hitting things. Yes, you do. Or you will crash. Yeah. Apparently... <laughs> Pro tip, avoid this stuff. Um, uh, yeah, apparently when you shoot the plane down, all their fuel transfers into your plane. So, oh, yeah. It's, yeah. Air, it's air transference. A air it's, transference. Um, it's like absorbed out of the oil slick in the water or something. I'm not yeah. sure. But. Especially, yeah, the yeah. boats. It scoops it up with the water. <laughs> oh, these are really cool. Yeah, those ships are... Whoa. At this point, I wouldn't go after them. But you, you said you can run over them. They don't hit you? Yes, Only the planes hit but you. But it's still too Good dangerous to, to be anywhere near them. Yeah, you were very close to that last one. Video game logic, yes. I just stay very far away from those ships. You can no. shoot right across the screen almost. Kiki PDPH says, I'll occasionally drop by this live stream. The game has done its best to implement the desires of people who followed its development. <laughs> that is the developer. Thank you, Kiki hey, PDPH. Uh, Taya is credited for the game having large sprites, i.e. bosses. Tia? Is that Taya? T-I-A? T-A-Y-A. Is that Tanya? <laughs> I Tanya, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Ta Taya? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Ah! I love this game, though. It looks yeah. fantastic. I love the backgrounds. I love how you get closer. Typo! <laughs> yeah. Okay, so it was Tanya. Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> I needed more energy. And those birds. Those birds. Add, they add... You can't... You gotta, you gotta stay away from it those guys. Right They're so close. In front of me, though. Yeah. Uh, oh, no. Now that I'm not playing, I can I can criticize, criticize your play. Yeah. Ah, um, get out of here. Oh, you're getting closer! Oh, oh my god, they shoot right across the screen. River Raid, I think it was one of the few that had logical fuel tra transfer, yes. yes. You have to kind of pass Illogical. over it, yeah. 
logical fuel transfer because you have to go to the fuel. I, yeah, it's true. not by shooting things. It still yeah. doesn't make much sense, but well, I especially like the ones where you bomb the fuel. <laughs> yes. Oh, you have more fuel now. <laughs> it explodes into the air, vaporizes, yes. and you suck it up. And you suck it up. Yes. Future tech. Future tech. I'd be happy to oh, make it to the second stage. Yeah, where, you, where you're land. over land. Yeah. It's it's a oh, it's so nice. challenging game. <gasps> Ah, oh, run no! Oh, so close! Oh, I just caught my wing. Oh yeah, the fuel tanks were wireless chi chargers. There you go. That's right. Yay! Now. Oh, oh totally the forgot. red bear. So you have to shoot him. Oh no! Okay, you can do it again. You can do it again. I forgot he comes up the middle. And the plane couldn't fly over the bridge. Uh, it's the same in 1942. You can't hang around no, the bottom can't. of the screen. No. You have to move up a bit. Cheap shots is nostalgic. Well, he is yeah. the Red Baron. He's yeah. not known for, for playing fair. Oh, I want to uh, do a reset on that. Oh, it's a rage reset. <laughs> it is. You can put rage reset on the screen if there you like. There you go. Bounce it around. Or you can trigger rage reset. Is there? No, you I, just, didn't, you I just... didn't make a rage reset trigger, did I? Nope, just uh, just uh, the icon. Just the icon. Uh, next time you drive by a gas station, shoot a gas pump and it should fill your tank for oh, free. There you 100%. go. Thank you, nostalgic. Woo. Good pro tip. Yeah. Shooting yep. Yes. Oh, too far. It's a very um, narrow window. Where he doesn't. Where you can shoot. Oh my God, the boats. Oh. Did he take some of your fuel? No, I don't think so. <laughs> he stole my fuel. No, he because your fuel went down, but I think that no. it just naturally went down. It just it was right as you went on top of him. So I was like, did he take ah, your fuel? Really? Do they also have the magical properties of stealing the fuel from you? Yes. Yeah. They give and they take fuel. Ah. No. Very dangerous to be on the sides, the very far sides, because mm -hmm. you get trapped by um, by bullets. I do like video game logic, though. It's pretty funny. Oh, it's hilarious. It's uh, crazy. The one that I always find the funniest is, you know, that frogs can't swim. <laughs> it's, it's poison water. <laughs> it's po it's, it's yeah, full no. of badness in that water. <laughs> There's enemies that, that eat the frogs in the water. Uh -huh. They just yeah. couldn't show it. Yeah. That's, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Stuff like that's very funny. So I've never played this game all the way through um, without the um, beta tester. Oh my god, that went right through my way. very close. Beta tester unlimited lives. Um, yeah. it's, it's challenging. It is challenging. I <sighs> hope I can beat the first boss. Yeah. I don't know if I've ever done it. Get out of here. Ah, my fuel. Anyone else with favorite video game logic? Uh, oh, the most absurd video absurd game logic. Absurd video game logic. I mean, I love modern RPGs and the fact that you can, like, ah. pick up, like, a shelf full of books or oh, a, a heavy a heavy treasure treasure chest and put it in your backpack. Oh, unlimited I, 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 I love the unlimited holding. I think that's so funny. But, um, but I mean, that, it doesn't really work. What was that thing that. in Baldur's Gate 3? You could turn your people into sheep and then carry them oh yeah that, well that's a that's a magic spell i feel like that's not that illogical yeah. um eating big circles allows you to eat ghosts yes very true very yep. true that pellet is pretty magical or absurd amounts of food that you can eat what like, does the pellet do does the pellet in and of itself transfer you to an, an astral plane and then the That's ghosts amazing. become solid and real and you can go after them. I think I think there needs to be more of a story about what these pellets are all about. Well, how did they... Ah! Get out of the way. Oh, God, this is... Oh, no! Oh, I see. Gamma Dev. The official reason in the manual for Frogger's issue with the river water is the current is too swift. Oh, it uh, carries them away. But it is a big F you to the player where suddenly the water is where you have to jump at the end and you die if you jump onto the land. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <gasps> Got him. Oh my god. Now it's time to die. <laughs> Doom guy defeated by a tiny ledge, says Cyrano. Doom guy. Oh, eating food, healing wounds. Yes. Uh, wall oh, chicken, no, no. one of my favorite forms <laughs> yes. of chicken. Wall Just chicken. eating food, laying around a castle um, filled with uh, enemies. 
It's the same pill that Underdog pops for his superpowers, I bet. <laughs> All these uh, cartoon characters and video game characters yeah. popping pills in the 70s. Woo! Yeah. So I defeated the first boss. You didn't see it. Sorry. Then I immediately died. Oh, no! So you started over. I'll have to watch it in the replay. <laughs> it's shallow and calm at the inlet, says VG Double Down. <laughs> <laughs> Barrels are always full of explosives. Yep, and cars. And any kind of vehicle is oh, just yeah. explosive. Well, that's actually movie logic. That's true. That, that, that like, um, a lot cars of video explode in fiery mess masses, you know, like, yeah. Or, or space, in space, too, that things oh, explode things. and or catch on fire when there's no oxygen to fuel the fire, which is kind of funny. Or things make um, sound in space. The, uh, yeah, sound in space, yeah. Carrying a chainsaw, shotgun, rocket launcher, and Gatling gun. Yeah, Easy. yeah. <laughs> no problem. They're all on your back. Oh no, uh, Kiki! I just wanted to confirm Taya wasn't the name of a developer. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't realize. So, yes. But uh, yeah, thank you for increasing some of the sizes of the uh, enemies because uh, it did definitely you helps. That page. Uh, yes, I did. Oh, next page. Replenished by hitting enemies in the air or on the ground. That's the that's the energy bar. Enemies on water and land contribute more energy than airborne energies. La uh, uh, la than airborne enemies. So enemies on water and land contribute more. Okay, that makes sense because yeah, I did notice you do harder. get more, and they are harder. Much harder. Yeah. Lives and energy start with three reserve lives and one current life. Game over after all the lives are spent. When the player's energy is depleted, the player loses a life. After the fifth level, earn a new life. Ah. And energy is replenished. And if you successfully complete the game, which we have not done, it restarts with faster energy bar depletion. So oh, you get... Great. You, you move into... Um, uh, ah. Super, super uh, hell mode right at the end. And you have yes. to do it all over again. Uh... What is it? Good video game logic, unlimited ammo, yeah. Yeah. Um, Chelsea Doni now, or that folks freeze instantly in hard vacuum. Yes. Yeah, it is oh. it is an insulator. You don't just freeze. Yeah. Yeah. So true. Your your lungs will completely collapse and yeah. then you will die of asphyxiation them. and then you'll probably freeze. Yeah. It's, it's um, pretty quick though, yeah. Uh, yeah, well yeah, asphyxiation's not very nice, but that's okay. Uh, falling off a high ledge is survivable if landing on a med kit. <laughs> <laughs> So um, handy. Yes. You can buy three lives for 25 cents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that uh, too. That is very true. That is very true. That's that's arcade uh, logic right there. Or more health for 25 yeah. cents. Um, the great one for me is top-down games with side-on sprites. Side -on oh, sprites. just perspective issues. Yeah, the issues. perspective issues. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Unlimited ammo is nice. Characters die permanently in RPGs that have resurrection spells. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, they're not alive to resurrect themselves. <laughs> no, has to have a friend do it. Um, oh my god. It's so Mighty Mouse sniffing crushed flowers. Thank you, Ralph. Oh Moon buggies that can jump. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they could they jump? Uh, well, know. in Moon Patrol they can. Yeah. <laughs> um, there's nothing stopping them from having hydraulics, I suppose. Mm. They just didn't have them at the time and never have had them. Okay, got more lives this time. I mean, there's always. Ooh, he's fast. Ooh, ooh. There's a pattern Sorry. to this guy. Is there? <gasps> Damn it! Yeah, you can break bricks with your head, but a walking mushroom kills you. Yep. Nice. Now I die. Woo. This is really hard. This part. It has. Um, oh, the zeppelins. Uh, heat-seeking missiles. <gasps> What? That's evil. Oh. It's very evil. It's completely evil. Nice. So you have to approach them and shoot them in uh, a different kind of manner. Are you technically breaking the bricks with your head, or are you putting your arm up to break the brick? Uh, you. I think it's your arm, technically. You're hitting it with your fist. I think it might depend on the Mario game. Does he ever put his arm up? Uh, he does. Um, okay. In in uh, Mario Brothers, he puts his arm up. Oh, that's what I'm thinking of. He puts his but arm up in Mario Brothers. Super yes, Mario? Yes, when he's bouncing the floor. So not Super yeah. Mario. Interesting. It's funny that I would remember that. 
have to stay far away. But I need health. Ooh. See, it's brutal. Stay far, far away from them. Zeppelins, man. I mean, brutal those zeppelins. should explode in fiery, fiery <laughs> yes, masses should. when you hit them. They do. Uh, you can't be that close. Oh, oh my, my God. God. The angle. <laughs> Oh no! I'm running out of fuel. Ah! Good job. Yeah. Good job. Ooh. I think the tanks are easier to get in this level. Maybe. Ah! Ha, ha. The zeppelins with their their shot are pretty oh, crazy. Oh, it's boss time. Oh, it's the uh, super fast. They don't shoot yet. Oh, this they is, do shoot eventually. They, yeah, they do. Oh, it's just like get your get your power back level. You don't get much power from these. Enough. I was down to almost nothing. Oh, oh you do get some. Uh, oh my goodness! And they shoot like three times in a <laughs> row. No! 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 I think that is level five. Is it? So now we can skip to the cheat. <laughs> then okay. We have... we have a cheat? Yes, we do, nice. because this game is so hard. But that's a lot further than I thought I would make yeah. it. Gamadev, a later one. You can fall from the tallest building in the known world as long as you land in a modest pile of hay. And the guard standing next to it, whose sacred oath is to kill you, will never notice. Yeah, great animation of the planes flying, yeah. flying at you. Uh, is that, um, uh, not oh, Prince of Persia, what is it, uh, oh my goodness. Describe the game. Prince of Persia? No. What's the, what's the game with him jumping along roof, rooftops? Uh, rooftops? Yeah. Oh, a, uh, no, not Prince of Persia. I it's a more that. modern game. That, that. Assassin's Creed. Yeah. Is that, is that, is that what you're thinking of? Assassin's Creed, thank you. I was like, I, the picture was in my head. Um... What? I shot him! No! Oh, no, oh, insta death. I wasn't looking. You gotta, you gotta always look. Ah! It's so brutal. It is brutal. You don't get your points back, which is unfortunate. <laughs> NPCs completely ignoring you while you murder their co workers <laughs> and friends right before their eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Must have uh. been the wind. Oh, I'm making collision. Very, very dumb moves there. Uh, uh, was that heat seeking? Ooh, I can't, I couldn't tell. No, they're not. That'd be crazy if it was on this level. Just really angled. No! Oh, this level's brutal. Oh my god. <laughs> Serena says, it's, it's when they carry on the scripted conversation with the dead NPC, it becomes hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah. Never um, checked if they're, uh, there's no check to see if their friends died. Yeah. NPC ignoring you while you let yourself into their house and start going through all the <laughs> shelves and drawers. Stealing yeah. everything that's yeah. not labeled in red. Yeah. I'll just take that and that, and I'll have your dinner that you were making. Yeah. And, uh, and then oh. you just fill your bag Don't mind with wheels this. of cheese. <laughs> The size of your head. Your cheese is my cheese. Yes. Yes. And being able to eat like five wheels of cheese. Five wheels of cheese in, in about a two, two seconds. Yeah. Sounds and like it, ultimate seven. <laughs> oh, an economy in which you can sell a hundred of the same item to a merchant who will happily take all of them at the same price rather than stop buying them from you. Yes. Until their money runs out. Yes, too. which I do think is a good, is a good, at least their money runs out eventually. Is that a, what? He got out of the plane. <gasps> now he's going into the enemy plane. Oh! This oh. is the final boss. Boss him up. Ah! Oh, uh, one life left. Oh, no. no. Oh, yeah. You yeah. have to hit him in the middle. Oh, you have to aim down, too. Oh. No, then. It's okay coming back. It has to be up. You have to shoot him when he's up or when he's down? When he's coming down. And it's very hard because you have a window of like. <gasps> no! Oh. You have a window of nothing. No! 
oh, back at zero, or did are you at level five? Level five. This is the level five <laughs> cheat. That um, Kiki PDPH, yeah. thankfully, yes. allowed us to play so, so that good. we can show off the ending yeah. without being tortured too much. Yeah. Oh no, Mega Tank! Yeah, exactly. Mega Tank. Ah! Yeah. Very modern sensibility um, enemy at the end of yes. this. Yes. We can only injure him at certain. Oh my god. Yeah. And that makes it uh, tough. It makes it a tough boss. Um, all your cheese belong to us. Uh, oh. Viva La Dirt League YouTube channel makes parody videos of video game mechanics, especially RPGs. Oh, um, nice. Who's that um, dude who does. Um, oh my goodness, his name. Uh, the videos, the rotoscope videos. He does a lot oh. of um, Skyrim ones. He's pretty yeah, funny too. Yeah, he did one for Baldur's Gate good. 3. Um, the name just went whoop. No! Oh no! I, you can't be in the corner. You can't dodge nope. it in the corner for sure. I, I don't this one doesn't hurt you when it comes through. Yeah, you don't want to be in the corners when that far comes through. Oh, I got him. Come on. Yeah, you want to be in the middle. So you can dodge the fire. Was it my imagination, or did the mega tank shoot a shot that's as big as your plane? <laughs> it's a big Correct. Oh! Big fireball. Big fireball. fireball. Oh, you shot the fireball. Oh god. <gasps> you I got one. Right on the edge. No, I've hit him a couple times. Oh now. good. Well, you got one that time. Oh, you can know. shoot it. <gasps> that makes life a little bit easier. You did you bit. get it? Yeah, I got it. Good. I do like that stuff, it's so funny. more and hits. You, you get your energy back, which is nice. Uh, when I die. <laughs> no! No! You can't go to the so corners! So close! No! I'll get it this time. I'll get it this time. I guess we cannot shoot enemy shots to the list. Yeah, especially fireballs. The fact that you could shoot an enemy fireball. <laughs> That's right. It's like bizarre. Yeah. Or shoot a bullet out I of mean, the air. I mean, it could be an extinguisher shot. Come oh, on! No. Rage! Rage! Mega reset. tank is king, correct. Hey, so far he is. He is. I love it. Oh, and the birds are just floating by. Oh, another video game logic. Completely oblivious. Yeah. Another video game logic is that you're the only one sent in to fight this huge force. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. where's the rest of your team? Yeah. <laughs> so true. Or you could say, oh, you got four guys, so you're, you're, you're only using... Your perspective is only one of yeah. one of the army, but you never see any of your other people. Makes more sense in like spy games, right? Yeah. Where you're you're trying to infiltrate and be, be careful, but yeah. in a war situation, you only have one plane. You don't see any of your other fellow planes. Yeah. Um, Cubanismo says, on that note, they had no skill, they dead. <laughs> Which is true. That works. Uh, Gamma Dev says, uh, the con con converse is that I love it when you do something against the game and the devs accounted for it. One of my favorite was in the Phantom Menace game where not you not only couldn't finish the game if your dead eye killed enough innocent people in Moss Espa, but they would let you play until you killed every living thing in town, at which point the game put up, you have turned to the dark side and then rolled credits. <gasps> nice. That is fantastic. That is really good. That is fantastic. I've got three lives this time. Yeah, when they when they actually think of those things, it's it's pretty <gasps> oh, I could pretty see impressive. That kind of mile yeah. Away. Well, at least I got them. That is very impressive. I chose them. I hate when all your base belong to them. Meme. Silly meme. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Is it a shot downwards? Is, is it a yes, down it shot is. that. It makes it a little bit harder. Oh, oh I got that I swear one. I got no. that one. Oh, I missed that one. I'll take that one as a loss. Oh my god. It's hard. As it should be. Not complaining. It's just hard. Yes. Oh, you get some health back. You too. do, when you hit him. 
That's very good. That is because your your energy does this is, drop. He's the only one that can. Oh come on! Uh. <laughs> I hit him. Yeah. Uh, Gamma Dev, of course, like half the Star Trek movies are, and the Enterprise is the only ship in range. <laughs> Space is big. It's, Space it's is big. Very big. <laughs> that, that I can almost at, understand. At, at those scales, that is maybe understandable. I need health. Oh my ah, goodness. I need to hit him more. Rap sheet. Um, have you played both games or just this one? No, we're oh, still in number one. one. We're getting there. Oh, I'm so close. Maybe three more hits. Oh, good job. Oh, I got a little bit of energy. I'm barely hanging on with the energy. Oh, you can hit his his fireball for more energy, too. Oh, really? Yes. Good, oh, good, that's good. something. Just don't get hit by the fireball. Nice. Get One there. more. One more. One more hit. I have two lives. That helps. Serena says, to be fair, the Enterprise is a long-range cruiser. Yeah! Yes! You're, You're done! done. <laughs> shoot it oh i never noticed your bullets go off into the distance nice. too nice see look and now wow. now yeah. your your energy goes down really fast <laughs> oh you're starting at five again not at the beginning. oh because this is only starts at five yeah good very, job very cool thank you that that was challenging yeah I, you i can see somebody getting through the whole thing yeah but it's it's hard it's very very hard yeah because i did make it to level five barely <laughs> And then we and had, then to, I had the, to start from level five yeah. to defeat the boss. But yeah. I beat him last this time with two lives left. Yeah. So I think if I played it enough, I could possibly finish the game. Mm -hmm. um, so the, there are, um, let's see. So Mirsad, oh no, don't have his pronunciation. So Mirsad did the game, is the conceptual creator and package design. Geraldo Hiju, cons consultation for game testing, advising, and contribution, con contributing ideas to the programmer, and James O'Brien. Thank you for your selfless contribution Aww. to this project, making Aww. you an integral part of it. Oh, How nice. thank you That's so much, Mir Sad. Nice. <laughs> the artwork and photographs of the Battle of Jetland belong to the public domain and are permitted for use. Yeah. So that will be released soon. It can be released at any time now. I'm not sure. Uh, Kiki Mirsad was in the chat. Yes, thank you, Kiki. That was wonderful. That this was game's awesome. beautiful. Super, it super nice. Gorgeous, gorgeous game. Yeah. Um, so that will be released for free in the Atari Age forums. You can download it. Uh, the manual will be there as well. The cartridge graphic. And you can ask Atari Age to make a game. Okay, nice. For you. A nice. cartridge for you. Nice. Because he will... To, for Atari to do that, you just have to have permission of the author, and I'm assuming he'll put that permission right with the binary. Nice. So that it's right there, very understandable. Very nice, very yeah. nice, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, great job. That is really nice. Excellent colors. One's not usually selected. Yeah, really beautiful colors. Yeah. The blues, the greens. There's a softness to this screen, too, with all the blues, too, which I really, really like. Yeah. Yeah. They're gorgeous. Thank Very you, Keith. Very gorgeous. Yes, well done. Um, so the next game we're going to be playing is Minotaur. Uh, this was renamed from Tank Maze. So okay. So go down to today's date. I will switch out the graphics as soon as I find it. Tank Maze. Was Tank Maze. This is Minotaur. It's been renamed. Okay. Um, last time we played it was September 1st. Um, so many updates have been uh, put into it. This is done by a Bob Montgomery, also known as V-Dub Bobby, on nice. the Atari Age forums. Nice. Um, so you're a tank. Okay. You're protecting your base okay. from the other tanks that are in the maze. Okay. Yep, yep. You can shoot them. You can shoot walls. They can shoot each other. You can accidentally shoot your base. Okay. So don't do that. Don't do that. Um, but they're gunning for your base. Okay. There are, uh, see that little skull thing? That just A minotaur, went, yeah. That turned very effectively. Yeah, very that was nice. Very cool. Um, those are power ups. Oh, they're power ups, so, so okay. After you shoot the tank, a power up will appear. But you can also accidentally shoot the power ups. Yeah. Be careful. Yeah. Okay. 
So <laughs> this is available in the Atari Age forums right now. Nice, 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 nice. Y yeah, I, I wasn't going to mention that, but we do have 1,997 YouTube followers. Really? YouTube subscribers. So we need three more YouTube three subscribers, more. people. So anybody three. watching on YouTube after three. the fact and you're not subscribed, you could be one of the three to put us over the 2,000. Yay! And we can celebrate. That's, that's exciting. The next episode. All right. People watching live. Well. Can do that and it'll refresh. Will it, will yeah. it refresh? It's live. It's live. Well, yep. if you don't follow us on YouTube, now is a good time. Yeah. Um, In case you miss a show. Okay. So this is first posted uh, January 23rd, 2012. It's a long time in the making. A long, long time. 11 years. It's an 8K game. Um, he also made uh, Elevators Amiss, which everybody should probably know about that game. Uh, Blip Football. Um, Reindeer Rescue. Oh, come back. Squish them. And a bunch of hacks and demos as well. Uh, that different font for 1997 triggers my OCD. I know it's it's. I have to actually take a screenshot of that 1997. It's not actual text. There's no way to extract it easily that I can find from YouTube. Yay! Um. Okay, so let's run through the through the updates very quickly. So starting September 5th, 2023, fixed a bug caught by zero page, can no longer shoot off screen enemies. Last time we played it, you were able to shoot enemies that weren't even on the screen. And it would just like count, 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 count. Oh, and uh, those things in the bottom right corner, that's how many more tanks you have to kill. Need to show his own guy. So yeah, it's better to what let them walk into No! Uh... no. Better to let them walk into your line of fire than to you to walk into their line of fire. Because they can get a shot off very quickly. Ah! Like that. You just narrowly avoid I know. Them. He was really far away. Never go into their line of fire. You know, oh, I didn't mean to do that. It's okay. Level's over. Phew. Stressful. Very stressful. Uh, this is called Minotaur. But there are games that are like this. Um, but Battle City is one of them. I think that's it. ah, you got me so fast. And there's a power up. I know. If you make it to it. I don't ah. know if it disappears. Don't shoot it. Yeah, oh, it does disappear. Oh. There you go. Run for it. Run. Oh, now you're faster. Well, that's a good advantage. Very good advantage. Um, player tank and enemy tanks can no longer die until they're fully on screen. That's good. Um, put some rudimentary game over logic. Uh, reset now sets level back to one. You select, pick a different starting level. Okay. Tank speed at respawn increases based on how many tanks are left remaining to kill. All enemy tank speeds increase when tanks remaining are under three. So they get faster when there's only a few left. Uh, and there's only three at a time on screen, so that's when they... I think you're okay to run into the debris. But you can't run into a tank. That'll hurt you. Power up. I know. Oh, I love the turning animation on power up. So good. It's beautiful. Is that just three frames? Like straight on, sideways, then straight on? Ah, that's not good. Never go into the line of fire. You're gonna get him. No. I've been wondering about this tank sprite over the colored square. Could it be alternating frames of a player and a missile to allow for four tanks on the screen? Um, yeah, there's clever ways of doing more tanks on the screen. These are doing some clever things right now, but I haven't analyzed it. Because you can have multiple tanks on the same line. But the tanks are already flickering, but it's like two frames of 30. As you can see your tank, it's flickering, but it doesn't look like a flicker. Oh, shooting each other. I'm gonna have to load this up. Oh, come Just on, I hit him. It. That was wrong. Let me see. 
see. Minotaur. Let's see how these are drawn. So they are drawn. Oh, I shot my own. I shot it as I turned the corner. Wow. So there's four tanks on the screen. There's never nothing where a tank is. Mm. It's And it alternates between a player character and a missile, a solid block missile character. Mm. So it gives the illusion of something always being there. So the orange in behind my tank is the missile. Um, and the tank treads and the turret mm -hmm. are the player character. And it goes back and forth between a solid block missile. On mine, it's like a brown and an orange, and the orange is the missile. Mm. Very effective to be able to put four characters on the same line and it doesn't look any worse it's still flickering between the player character and the missile so nostalgic 26 says my chromecast is not showing at 60 frames per sec oh. second so i'm seeing two squares and two tanks <laughs> and then cat ball arena said ha huh, i didn't realize i wasn't seeing how it is supposed to look until i switched to 60 frames per second <laughs> yeah the 2600 runs at 20 at 60, 60 frames, frames a second you yeah. always have to watch it 60. not it's not uh you got yeah lots of tricks that are done no oh Don't no um a lot of tricks done with uh, 2600 games to give mm. better resolution more characters yeah you want to but with chromecast it's it's difficult because the settings aren't like super accessible like you have to go into like multiple menus to to get to the settings he's gonna get your oh he is it's, it's exposed oh no he shot before he was even there so clever good ai no i shot him he was gonna shoot his own tank I'm not taking my own advice no he's gonna get you <gasps> oh he no, could have shot he it shot it he's not very so smart so lucky very smart. The only time I've killed my base. No, 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 no. Oh, oh so close. Oh, wow. I accidentally shot my own base. That's that's when oh, I lost did you? my base. Yeah. Oh, no. But I'd lost a lot of lives. They were they were beginning to get quite quick at level five or whatever level I was at. So. Oh, my God. How many, how many lives do I have left? Nostalgic 26. Clever AI and about to shoot his own tank right after each other. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just ran over or shot the other guy. Mm. I don't think they can kill each other if they run over each other. I don't know. Maybe they can. Because when the blue one comes out, he frequently kills the tank that's right in front of him. <laughs> it's like, you die. Get out of my way. Yeah. Oh, they do shoot just before you get to the... <sighs> Damn it. Come on down. Come on. Oh, no. Down. See? He shoots before you get there. Yeah, that's he, really he, smart. he senses you. <gasps> I was not facing up. You shot your own. See, that's oh, what I did. I shot my own base. That's what I did. Do you start at one? Yeah, you start at one again. You can't shoot your own base. You just keep going until your base is shot. Really? Yeah. Oh. So you're back at level one. So there's no lives? There's got to be lives. I don't see them, though. They're on the right. No, that's how many lives oh. they have. Oh, I see. No, no lives. No lives. Oh. Did somebody confirm that? <laughs> That's another bit of wacky video game logic that people actually like. Your shots don't hurt your friends. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, friendly fire. Yeah. Used in an ironic way. Or not really. <gasps> oh, 
What just happened? Death. It turned into a minotaur and then you shot it and then... And it exploded? Then, it, no, because the other guy shot at the same time. I, I don't know, something happened. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Bullets collide. Isn't this Battle City from NES? It It's very, very, very similar. Yeah, someone, that uh, rap sheet or someone in there mentioned I Battle City too. that's what it is a port of or oh. inspired Ooh. by. Get it. Get it. He's going to get your base. <gasps> nope. They're not that smart. Not about bases. They're not no. super smart. Which is good. At least not yet. Yeah, somebody commented in the forums that he, they liked that they did just didn't go for your base immediately. No, it, it stretches out the gameplay. Because if they sure. all went for your base immediately, it wouldn't be much of a game. No. You'd just hang around your base. Um, Catball Arena, is this complete or a work in progress? It's very close. It's still... Oh, oh that was a nice one. Got and them it sped all. me up, too. Oh, I like that. Very nice. Um, I think it's very close to being done. Yeah. There's not much left. I think he um, just found... A slight bug in the um, line count, mm -hmm. but other than that, it's pretty close. I haven't seen it yet. The line count issue. No. Oh God, no! Oh, yes, I would like that. I Wait. like this as a single-player game. Which You're not getting on it. Screen. No, it doesn't. It, they're all different. I know, but this one could have a, a distorted. Uh, well, that one was pink. Do you think the color matters? Oh, maybe. Um, my girlfriend is from Ukraine. We play extensive Battle City. She had it on Dendi as a kid. Dandy? Dendi? Dendi. Dendi is a, um, Dendi? pirate, um, uh, NES? Like or a Famicom? clone? Clone, kind Famiclone. of? Famiclone. Famiclone. There's so, it's Famiclone. so famous for having, uh, clones. They're, they have their own name, Nintendo on a chippo. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yep. NOAC. No! Oh. Oh, you passed? Passed. Oh, good. Can I just not run into them all? Can I just, like, mow them so down? So you don't have lives. So you can die over and over again, I'm but guessing? you can't let your base fall. That's what it seems? It seems? So far. No! The pink one's coming for you. Oh. No! <gasps> Gotta get out of there. Gotta get him from the, at the, at the sides. There you go. Hard. What are you drinking tonight? I am drinking a cocktail gin... What do you want to call it? Flavor? A gin um, spritzer that someone left behind at our house. After it's, games night? After our games night, um, it is a lemon lavender gin cocktail lavender, that vaguely reminds me of like my dad's aftershave. <laughs> oh god! There's something about lavender in a drink. I'm not a big lavender. It's not very strong, but I guess the combo of the lavender and the gin just kind of, and the fact that it's alcohol, I guess, just yeah. just gives me a bit of an aftershave. Well, yeah, the aftershave with alcohol. <laughs> yes. That makes sense. Anyway. Uh, but it's fine. It's fine. It's very light. Uh, do, do, do. First time I got to see Famiclones. <gasps> no. Those did all always have Battle City, the Famiclones. Uh, gotcha! Because the Famiclones, um, they usually included, like, early small games. Yes. Because they could pack more in. And they also didn't have the ability to do the chips, the um, on-cartridge chips. So they had to, uh, they had to only include games that didn't have any chips on them, like the MMC uh, mm. chips. That's did I hear lemon and lavender? Or did I imagine the lemon? Mm. No, lemon and lavender. Lemon. The lemon helps. It does. Um, um, old spice and tonic. <laughs> kind of. Kind of. Yes, kind of. I'm not a fan of of floral. Ugh. Like lavender, I, Any I in in drinks. in drinks, um, it's, just bad it's not it's, especially Vos. or food. It's not not. It's, I'm just not. To me, a fan. it just I'm reminds me of soap. Yes, like, it's a very soapy kind of. Like thing. any flowers, because yeah. soap is so associated with flowers. Yeah. 
Anyway, this was like the one that was left behind. So <gasps> that tells you something he got you. Oh, I wasn't even watching. Five. That's where they. That's where I died too. I think was five. Okay, your turn. Okay. Huh. Old Spice is obviously the best deodorant. <laughs> <laughs> So we have some huge shows coming up soon. I'll go over them again uh, at the end of the show, but we have Atari Age Day. It's coming up on the 19th. Is that a Saturday? Oh, I didn't get out of the way. Get Bring it up on my screen first way. so I don't... Why do I keep Say doing that? Ones. 19th. Sunday the 19th. Atari Age. 17th. Sorry. 17th. Sunday the 17th. Atari Age Day. Where we talk to a bunch of devs. Unbox all the new Atari Age games. Uh, before they hit the store. The Atari Age store. Um, and we'll be unboxing all the games. And showing them off. And playing a little bit of them. Talking to each dev for about 20 minutes. Game variations. Um... The ver I don't think there's any variations, but you can start at a higher level in this game mm. by using the difficulty switch. So we go up to five immediately. Um, let's see if I can find any other things that you can use in this game, like the difficulty switches. We'll go over the power-ups. Let's see. Power-ups. At the beginning of each level, a random number between 1 and 7 is chosen. If you kill that many tanks without dying, then a power-up will appear. So, if you don't die, that increases your chance of getting the power-up. It's not random. It's random at the beginning of the level, but it picks, like, 3. And then you have to kill 3 tanks in a row. Um, run over to get a small speed boost. <sighs> if you kill seven more without dying, another power-up icon will oh, appear. Oh, stop it! Collecting that will kill all... No! Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. That was terrible. It's level five. It's not changing. It's not changing. Huh. You shoot the shooter. I think you can maybe only do it on the title screen. Okay. Don't touch. There we go. Oh, what is that? One? One? Five. Five. What is the second one? Try and move. It's at one, though. Yeah. That's interesting. Okay, shoot your base. Expert level, hold the controller upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Okay, now let's do the other one. Is oh, that 10? It's much harder. It's 10? Oh god. There's no put your base up. But there's more tanks. Oh my god. Are they faster? Oh, they are faster. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, this must be 10. Oh, do you think? 10, yes. Okay, let's start over. <laughs> Let's do five. Let's do five. Okay. So it's one, five, ten. ten. That so makes sense. So the zeros are big squares. Yep. That's what they are. That makes sense. Um, yeah. So Atari Age Day, Sunday 17th, so a week and a half. Um, on the 15th, we have exclusives. Um, Jaguar exclusives. Jumping at Shadows. And also Raiding Rivers. You can guess what that might be. Um, and on the 12th, we have a live interview with John Champeau talking about his two new releases. Uh, Elevator Agent and Turbo Arcade. There's a lot of stuff coming up. Um, also, possibly, we missed doing <sighs> the uh, third Jaguar 30th anniversary. No, no. This past weekend, so I'm, we're gonna no. try and do it for Friday. Friday night. Sorry. <laughs> the Jaguar 30th anniversary part three. We, part three. We've missed it on the weekend. Yeah, we can. We night? can do it. Yeah. Friday. Friday night. Maybe. Do we have anything happening? 
Did you check our schedule? So. I didn't. I know we have stuff on the weekend, so. We do have stuff on the weekend. Uh, let's see. Friday night. Uh, nope. 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 Just stuff the next day. Catball Arena. It's always interesting to see 2,600 games I wouldn't have looked at a place in its early days. Yeah, this looks like something that would have possibly been thought up. And definitely doable in the early days. Or mid-days, let's say. Early days, this would have been like, what? This is crazy. Um, so each subsequent tank you kill in a level without dying, you get an extra 25 points. So the more tanks you kill successively without dying, the points go up more and more. So the first one is 50 points, then 75, then 100, 125. I don't know if you noticed, the more bricks you have at the end, the more points you get as well. See, it counts all the bricks. That makes sense. That makes so sense. So if you don't destroy... <laughs> How dare you have personal lives. I know. It's terrible. We just Not we just allowed. sit in this room and wait till the time happens, and then we just play. We play games. That's all we do. Mm -hmm. Yep. Hi, kitty. Hi. Oh, so happy. Is this food love? No! Oh, timing. Uh, let's see. Revamped power up icon animation. Yeah, it looks really good. Oh, uh, I don't I oh my goodness. So the the tanks have different names. Do they? Pinky Blinky is tank three. Moves the slowest, but respawns immediately. Clyde is tank two. Middle of the level start. Has a medium speed and medium respawn rate. Uh, Blinky Pinky is tank one. Has the fastest speed and slowest re respawn rate. What are you doing over there? What, what's up with you? He wants food. So the same tank doesn't fire in a row. It'll be one tank, then another tank, then another tank. Not not in rounds, but they just can't fire. So if you see a tank fire, it won't fire again until another tank fires. Oh, I didn't... I wasn't trying to turn right. So really the only downside to dying is you don't get as many points because the tank successive points Oh, you ran right into that yeah, one. That was that was. Oh, it's coming. It's coming for it. Um. Oh yeah. Select switch uh, level one, five, and ten. During gameplay, select is ignored. Oh, here we go. Uh, left difficulty switch. B enables power-ups during gameplay, A disables them. So they can may be made even harder by switching the left um, difficulty to A, so you don't get any power-ups. Um, let's see... He just added the title screen music okay. today. Or no, didn't add it, add it today, but it has two channels now. And I think the, the music's really good. Slight changes to the tank colors. Uh, change the enemy sh tank shooting logic. They'll only now shoot towards the base if they're in the bottom half of the screen. So as long as they're up above half of the screen, they won't shoot the base. Because that's... I guess he figures it, that's a little cheap. It cheating. just goes shoot, shoot, done, right? Yeah, he could camp at the... Oh, you're going to get shot. Um, he could camp at the top and <laughs> and just shoot straight down and yeah. end of the game over. Yeah, it would so be. that makes sense to do that. And I think the only real big thing has left to do is to... 
killed it in one more shot. I know. I, they don't do it right away, which is kind of funny. I thought he was, uh, I thought he was, I thought, oh yeah, I have a lot more to kill him. You're in level four or 14? Four. Oh, did it not remember the starting no. level? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. no. Oh, that was good. That I'm going to start fun. in level five. And that'll be my, our last play. <laughs> So Jaguar on Sunday, you were saying. Friday, Friday. Uh, yeah, the last part of the Jaguar Friday night. Nothing, nothing going on. This is not couch compliant because you can't change uh, the difficulty or the level it starts at without the switches on the... But it could be done. Up, down, left, right mm -hmm. on, on the title screen could... Uh, Earn him couch compliance. <laughs> Almost. So it's close. Oh, speed is so good. Mm-hmm. Come down here. You come down here too. Oh, yeah, I did see that. I did see a, a, a little a line minor. flicker. Yeah. Oh, oh there yeah, we go. that was that, was that big there line. was a lot going on. On one line. Yeah. yeah. Work for me. That's right. Excuse me. Oh, there's the six font. Yeah. Looks like a very, very chunky font. It just looks like that sprayed stencil font. I like it. One of the bricks. Uh -oh. <gasps> Ran into him. Mm. Oh no. Oh, why am I doing that? Clearing out all the bricks. Oh god. It's not good. Be careful here. Yeah, you just have to make sure you only shoot once. I need this level to be over. So three more to go. <gasps> Duh. Oh my god. I was being too defensive. Mm. Uh, different font on the top, mm -hmm. too. So two different fonts for the game, which mm -hmm. is very unusual, actually. I like it. That somebody would make two fonts. Um, yeah, very good challenging tank game. Very good. It's very close to being finished. Yep, music sounds good. No, big eyes. No. <laughs> no. It's like, unless there are treats in that hand. No, I'm not coming. I refuse. Well, I refuse as a little black fluffy cat. Um, so, Minotaur is available in the Atari H forums right now. Yay! Um, excellent, excellent game. Oh, it's an 8K game. Yeah, somebody already answered. Mm. Um, and the other game, uh, Jetland Skies, will be available if it's not already. I don't know if Kiki had something ready to post immediately after gotcha. the show. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Or it might be tomorrow. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so let's take a look at the schedule uh, on the screen. I was talking about it, but let's go over it because there's more to say. Boom. Um, so the next show, which is going to be on Friday with Darcy, an early show. We're going to be catching up with Night Guy in another castle. <gasps> in another 70, castle. Nice. Uh, for the 7800. Very nice. Uh, Lyra the Ten Wreck for the 7800 and Stone Age for the 7800. Very nice. 7800 day. Yep. And then at night, we're going to get out the Jaguar. Yes. And finish our 30th anniversary classic gaming countdown. It's part three. Nine. December 1995 to 1998. 20, the last 24 games that were released. 
Then on the 12th, next Tuesday, we're going to be talking with John Shampo about Elevator Agent Ooh. and Turbo Arcade releases. Nice. We're doing unboxing of those two new games and chatting with him about them. Mm -hmm. um, then on the 15th, the Friday with Erlen, we're going to be playing. We have two exclusives. The Jumping at Shadows updated demo version that was at PRGE that has yeah. not been released. That's mm -hmm. why it's an exclusive. Mm -hmm. And also world exclusive of Raiding Rivers. Mm -hmm. Whatever that could be for the Jaguar. Mm -hmm. uh, Very interesting. Yep. Yeah. Um, both uh, Cyrano has a hand in both of those. Ah, so he excellent. was in the chat earlier. He was, yes. And then on the 17th, Atari Age Day Whew. 2023. That's Whew. a Sunday live unboxing, chatting with every developer. Love it. Dozens of games released. Hey, 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 hey. Calm yourself. Um, and then on the 19th, the Tuesday after that, Atari Ho Holiday Homebrew Yay. Special, we have a new Muddy Vision secret new game. <gasps> Exclusive world premiere Ooh. for the 7800. Ooh. Um, Atari's very excited. He is. Look at that belly. That's oh. an excited belly. Yeah. And also Last Stand Halloween, <laughs> which doesn't seem like a, uh, you know... Holiday game, but as you say... There I'm are some... Um, assuming you're correct. So. Yes. Yeah. Yep. There's a holiday some game. Holiday, there's a holiday game. Nice. And uh, then we'll be adding in some more games that maybe we want to revisit yep oh Cyrano is still here Yay. I are still here excellent and then we go on for uh, a small holiday break I think it's just like two shows mm -hmm. maybe three shows and then we're back for New Year's Eve special where we count down the clock to midnight Pacific time and play games I don't know what games yeah. maybe just we're gonna whatever do something we maybe we'll do an after dark because it is kind of an well, after dark. Well, it is dark. an after dark. So we'll maybe we'll catch up on some games. We'll have to find some some games that we want to revisit. We want to play, yeah. Maybe we'll just play twelve hours of Penalt, <laughs> the release version. Wow. And, and uh, put some. All we'll, right. We'll we'll finish all of Penalt. Nice, nice. Just a big Penalt marathon. How nice. about that? Nice. <laughs> Tar Age Day really long stream many treats no there's no time can, for treats can we play some Day music in the background then if we're playing games for for new year's eve like have a have a little dance party a little chip tune dance party in the background oh chip tune yes yeah yeah we could uh it might interfere with the game music or sounds we can but... we can adjust it properly yep. i think that would be pretty fun uh, 12 hours maybe the next level of gravity Grav Gravitic Minds, yeah. yeah. Yeah, maybe we can about right. <laughs> swap off games and catch up on a bunch yeah. that we have been meaning to get back to yeah. doing levels of like yeah. um load runner gravitic mines there's a bunch of other games that were like midway to getting there yeah yeah um i have a thought yes uh oh uh sometimes dangerous. that's very dangerous um would you ever be for someone no. um doing a treat time with their cat over skype like having a competition with one of our cats uh, they'd have to have a bell. They'd but, have but, to teach their cat to ring the bell. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sure. And yeah. they just point their webcam down at their cat. I mean, I mean, the um, the timing of it would have to be pretty close. It usually is with webcams. Yeah. It's within like half a second. To I a just second. think that would be kind of hilarious. <laughs> um, if they're if they're watching, that wouldn't work. No, we, but if you're if you're have them on webcam on webcam. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Just putting it out there. Yep, I don't know. It depends on who has a cat, who has a bell, and no. if they've taught their cat to ring the bell. Very, very shrinking it's pool very of people. very niche market, but yeah. we could, yeah, it could happen. It can happen at some point. Um, so big shows coming up for the rest of the year. Yeah. Like really big shows. Lots of exclusives. Lots of interviews. Mm. Lots of unboxings. Um, so you definitely don't want to miss out on that. I have a lot to prepare for, <laughs> in other words. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so it's not, you already have a niche market. So not that unlikely. No, yeah, That's yeah. true. <laughs> that is very true. Niche yep. breeds nicheness. Yes. Um, thanks for hanging out with us mm -hmm. on a Tuesday night and playing some fun plane and tank games. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, um, I usually put up a poll of what uh, people's uh, games that they'd like to play next or would uh, think that they like the best or... Oh, where is it? Where is it? Okay, there we go. So, 
It was tonight was Jutland Skies mm -hmm. and Minotaur. There you go. So you can pick uh, one or two. Which yeah. one you found the most interesting? Which one you'd like to download and play first? Uh, which one do you like the graphics cool. on best? I don't They're know. They're both pretty cool. Whatever Maybe you've like. played one and haven't played the other. There you go. Is it's, he expecting he is something? He's very expecting. You can see him. Yeah, he, they can see them can staring up at me. You can give him catnip right now. That would be enough. Yeah, catnip would be pretty good. To, 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 As take, Sophie's choice. So, they were both excellent. They're both so excellent games. We're, we're not pitting people head to head. It's no, just no, what, no. what you're, you know, what you're interested in. It looks pretty balanced, actually. Yeah, I yeah. would think so. They're both really good. And appeal to different people's sensibilities. They're different types of games. They're very. Yeah, they're, they're different types of games. Yeah, Jutland Skies, uh, very challenging. So if you like a challenge... Uh, I mean, actually, Minotaur is very challenging, too. They're both They're both just different. They're different yeah. gameplay. Um, graphics uh, were great in both. Mm -hmm. Like, um, Jetland Skies has the pseudo, pseudo 3D um, scaling effect. Oh, yeah. I, I do effect. think that's really, really looks good. And the, yeah. And the, I, I love the, as you get closer to the island and you fly over the grass. Mm-hmm. Um, the birds flying in the sky and Minotaur, uh, very cool concept, implemented very well in the 2600, especially the graphics where it's, he figured out a good way to m manage the flicker between having a background mm -hmm. of the tank and the gr player graphics of the tank. Uh, Cyrano says, Jutton looks better. Minotaur probably has more lasting appeal. Mm -hmm. Depends on the person. Yeah, I mean, Minotaur, you can play forever. Jutland has an end. Yes. But it's hard to get to it that end. It's hard to get to that end. And then it gets harder. And then harder. you have to play it again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So what is it? Oh, it's very even. Very even, which is... They were both extremely good games. Yeah, I'm not going to pick on this one because it's just no, too close for it me. it is too close. Um, yeah, 57 for Minotaur, 42 for Jutland Skies. If there's more people yeah. voting, I'm sure... Uh, need some tuning in the shooting. Um, I, I found it pretty good for mm. that. Um, some of them are like really close. Like I just, oh, yeah. I just missed them or something. Yeah. I have to look back. But uh, mm. uh, okay, thanks for uh, tuning in. Yeah, uh, it, was it was lots a lot of fun. fun. Uh, good times. Vitoko, Gamma Dev, Chitlit Loss, here in a reboot. Dan ABC. Pseudo Graphics. Hey PG. Uh, rendered Ghost. No. Catball Arena. Nice. <laughs> what is behind that name? Do you do you play with cats too? You have, yeah. <laughs> you put them all in an arena and, and you then throw they a play ball with balls. Yeah. You get them to shoot it into the goalpost. The cat ball. Uh, Carl G. Nostalgic. Cubanismo. Marco Johannes. Uh, Rap sheet. Marco Johannes. Merrick. Chalcedony Mal. Double down. Probably repeating at this point. Mm, couple. Yeah. That's better to repeat than to miss. Them. Yes, exactly. Kiki PDPH. Miss Command. Thank you, Kiki PDPH, yeah. for letting us play your awesome. final version of your game. Yeah. Uh, Ivory Tower Collections. Yep. Yeah. Uh, oh, and Charles Wieland at the top. Pro KFL nice. just snuck in at the top of the chat before it disappeared. Yay! Uh, very good stuff Kitties. every night, but still bears saying, "Well, Thank it's, you not, it's not my games; us. it's it's the community's we games, just, and they make it awesome." They do, um, and we, we enjoy playing it. Yeah, we just show them off and yeah. celebrate them, and and uh, you know, show everybody what's going on in the community. Yeah, and that is a lot of fun. Um, and we're honored to play these games. So we'll be back on Friday. Yes. With some more games. Lots with of games. Darcy and, Darcy and games and Jaguar games with me. Tanya. Yay. Yep. So we will uh, see you on Friday. Mm -hmm. So have a great week. Yes. And we'll see you then. Hey, cats. You say bye-bye. Hey. Sprite. <laughs> oh, I thought he was oh, going to meow. Oh, he doesn't want me to pick him up. I thought no. he was going to meow. <laughs> what do you say? You say bye-bye. Cats. Oh, now they're silent, of course. Okay, <laughs> we'll see you on Friday. Have a great week, everyone. Bye-bye.